Praise the Lord, these are the days for the voice of God to be resounding again, and he stands in the center of the great white cloud on high, calling to each and every one of us as if we were the only one. So it's time that we need to arise and realize he is on the great white cloud of Matthew 24, the great white cloud of Revelation 14, same cloud, and he is sending forth his everlasting gospel with his everlasting covenant unto the world, telling all people the truth that he loves everyone deeply and unconditionally, and that there has never been any love except unconditional love that is truly love. For that is the gross darkness of Isaiah 60 that has covered all people. So be comforted, all people of the world, to know that there is always light behind the clouds. And the sky is an infinite, like an infinite movie to me. And I can never get tired of what's happening there. So let us all look to the skies. Our soul can be in the sky in these days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the latter-day Daniel, who I am. So never lose hope, for the darkest clouds always precede the loveliest rain, and blue skies are coming. But Christ is inviting us, giving an invitation to go deep, for above the clouds the sky is always blue, always. And he is the bringer of our sapphire sea as he overflows the great ocean of his adoration over one and all of us. Pouring out his love is that majesty of majesties, our icon of icon, hero of heroes. And he will bring a healing under his wings for the most regal eagle of the eon ascends, soaring higher with the fluttering dove of love than ever imagined. And in these days, the lamb and the lion may lay down. And it's time to take the clouds from the sky. If, you, if we did, all we would have is a deep blue ocean hanging over one and all. So don't let one, one little cloud obliterate the whole sky. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. And even though it might be a Monday some days, even on Mondays, don't forget to be awesome. For it's time to realize that the clouds make a painting out of the sky, and the great white cloud brings forth the masterpiece of God with his love overflowing for one and all. And he wants to fill all of our lives with experiences, not with things, uh, experiences of love, if only we will let our love move forward as a little child and get out of the land of the walking dead. So commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Do not commit the unforgivable sin of letting his light in you go out, for he is love. And as 1 John 4, 7 says, all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. So blessed be all people of the light and the light of love, for he says unto the whole world and to everyone who has their love as a child, he says, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore. Uh, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And then you will see that even life is like a sky. Clouds are like are like the sadness. Sky is hidden by the clouds, but when the clouds move away, the sky shall be so much brighter. So it's time that we keep the stream alive and reach for the for the heavens. And it doesn't stop there because there are footprints on the moon. So it's lift your hands up to heaven and receive all that the Lord would put into your embrace and let his new revelation of revelation be as your warmest blanket because these are the days burning as an oven. The days of the refiner's fire has come.